Hey, long time no see. Thanks for joining us here at Quick Fix Smartphone and Tablet Repair in West Berlin, New Jersey. As always, brought to you by RootJunkie.com. All right, guys, let's get into it. It's been a while. I'm excited for this one. This is the Samsung Galaxy S6 rebuild video. All right, uh, just a little bit of information for you on some of these parts here. All right, we got the back camera right there, that is a 16 megapixel. We got the front camera right there, that is a five megapixel. We have the screen right there, that is a Super AMOLED. Um, we, it also has a 64-bit processor. Uh, the RAM is LPDDR4. Uh, the battery is 2,600 milliamps. The fingerprint scanner is built in. You also have a wireless charger built in that is bad boy via this component right there. Um, on top of that, what else? Oh, uh, the Smart Amp loudspeaker. What? This thing sounds beautiful. I, s I love the way it sounds. All right, uh, let's get into the components and whatnot. Right here on the mid frame, we have the vibrate motor right there. Uh, one piece, all one piece. We got the ear speaker, which is attached to this piece right here. The ear speaker. You have your uh, infrared blaster on top. And the, I believe, yes, this is your loudspeaker microphone right there. All right, and that's, that's all that's left on this piece. Move on over. All right, now on this mid-frame, you have that loudspeaker I was just talking about. Oh, it sounds so good. <laughs> you think I'm kidding. Wait till you hear it when you get yours. All right, now we have the uh, volume rockers right there, the power button. It's all pressure connections. Same as the loudspeaker. Just connects as the board rests on it. All right, you have that home button fingerprint scanner. On the daughter board right here, you have that charger port. Uh, the soft keys are one piece connected to it, as is the headphone port, connects through there. Uh, the home button is just the fingerprint scanner. It actually clicks on the home button here on the dock to actually get that home button click. Uh, you got your microphone right there and the antenna connections right here. Connects on the motherboard right there the home button connects right there. Right, the back camera, the front camera again. Let's see what we got on the motherboard. Oh, we have our proximity and ambient light sensors right there and some connections. Uh, the back camera connection right there, the daughter board connection right here, the front facing camera connection is up here. Uh, this is where your LCD digitizer connects and these are your pressure connections for all of these pieces. This is the drop charge pad. It does come built in. Woo! It's awesome. Uh, just in case that you know charger port gives way uh, from overuse, it's very common here at Quick Fix Smartphone and Tablet Repair. We replace all micro USB ports starting at $65. All right. Uh, there's the battery. Um, Samsung's infamous, you know, built-in battery. You can't replace it. And blah blah blah. It's so lame. But here at Quick Fix, again, we can definitely replace that battery if need be. Uh, we got that Gorilla Glass right there on the back, the back cover. That's Gorilla Glass. Uh, it's a Class 4 uh, Gorilla Glass back glass. And then we have that Super AMOLED screen I was talking about, the little SIM card reader right there. And these are all the screws used to keep that phone together. All right. If you have any questions about what any of this could be, um, take a screenshot, you know, and um, circle something in red and leave a picture in the comments or something like that, and I will try my best to answer all the questions you guys ask. Uh, I do want to get building, though. I want to get home. Um, let's, let's do this. Ready? All right, here's the mid-frame. Yes. Okay. Sorry about that. There you go. Home button goes in just like that. I have to hold this so it doesn't fall out. There you go. Now we have the daughter board and all those connections the main board. Let's start finishing those. So, like I said, the dock connects on the back here. It's a little bit harder when you're trying to show. There we 
There we go. Your red antenna connection. And that blue antenna connection right there. There you go. Oh, yes. Uh, attach the front camera. and the back camera. Now upon removing the back camera, I did notice there is a bunch of adhesive holding that back camera in place, unlike all the other Samsung back cameras. So that was nice, it is reinforced for stabilization, I guess. All right, there we go, now we have the board built. Let's start throwing the mid-frame back together. Now we'll connect the ear speaker, the infrared blaster, and that loudspeaker microphone. Right there. I also forgot to point out that there is the uh, flash and heartbeat sensor right there, of course. Um, that is right there. And this is where the home button connects. Right above the red antenna. Now make sure you get those in the right tracks. You don't want to pinch anything. There we go. Everything seems to be lined up on this end. Let's flip it over and line up these soft keys. Okay. There we go. Soft keys are all lined up. Okay. Now let's go ahead and attach the battery, the drop charge pad, and start finishing up the assembly. There we go. All right. Now, the way that this drop charge pad attaches is half and half. Um, it does go halfway under and halfway above this frame. I'll show you exactly what I mean. This connection right here, you want that to go under. The rest you would like to go above. Just like so. I'm gonna make sure that this is lined up exactly as it should be. It will not make a proper connection. Now it is time to install the LCD screen. Uh, the adhesive is built in. So we just peel that off. Like so. back shield right there. Now this is tacky, where you see the red, or salmon, uh, that is tacky. It will glue itself to this mid frame here. Okay. Seems like the safest way to install it would be like so. Just like that. Now that we have the LCD digitizer full screen assembly installed and part of the mid frame here with all the small parts in, uh, we just wanna make sure that we have everything lined up. You don't want anything getting pinched. Make sure that your home button clicks, it does. All right, so take your mid frame, lie it down flat just like that and go dock first. There we go. All right, make sure everything works properly and we're just gonna throw a couple screws in here. Screw junkie, speed this up, brother.
there you go. We have a functioning Samsung Galaxy S6 rebuild. All right, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I see what I did there. All right, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to Root Junkie. Um, huge thanks again, man. I appreciate this opportunity. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And hey, if you ever have any other you know, devices you want to see rebuilt, uh, just shoot them down there in the comments, and I'll try my best to do a rebuild video for you. Thanks again, guys. Take care. <laughs> Bye.